he was an all-around player. He provided a lot of leadership, a lot of experience. To the corner. For three! He's a perfect teammate. Everyone that plays with him knows that. He's away with it, gets to the basket and scores! There's just something about that that's different. He's a fantastic professional. He's always prepared. Welcome back to episode 7 of the vlog. Ponds Forge in the Steel City for the Sharks versus the Lions as they battle it out for the race for second place. Let's go! We're setting the table for this battle with the pregame interviews. Coach Atiba Lions, head coach of the Sharks. Look who it is, Mike Tuck, AKA Sky Sports, baby. We embrace backstage just before he heads out onto the court for his pregame workout. Then before you know it, it's time to jump in for rehearsals. Get that mind right as that rowdy northern crowd begins to fill up the tank to support their sharks. I may be retired from hoops, but I still got it. These reactions still sharp like a tack as the basketball comes flying in to take out my man, Nat Coombs. I got you, boy. Sneaker check. You should know by now, myself and the crew, the footwork is always impeccable. You know Kieran Achara, AKA Mr. Disgusting. One day I'm gonna catch him slipping. Before we get to the game, I just wanna reflect on how crazy this season has been. Who would have thought that the table would be this way at this point of the season? I mean, my Newcastle Eagles on the outside looking in, the London Lions fighting for second place, and the Sharks got a chance to finish runner up. So it's been wild. And as I take my place alongside Ant and Dan for one of the last remaining league games, I can't feel but just blessed and very grateful. The opportunity to be on Sky has been a dream come true, something that I never saw coming. And, you know, the people that I get to work with on a week to week basis, you know, dealing with some unbelievable pros, it's been an awesome journey. Game time. Yeah. Ooh, almost got him. Reese, good move, bro. As the first half closes out, unfortunately, we had an injury to Justin Robinson, which didn't look too good. I caught up with Mike Tuck at halftime and asked him his thoughts. Mike Tuck, Mr. Sky Sports. Good to see you, my friend. We just seen Justin Robinson go down with the non-contact injury. What does he mean to this league? And speaking of elbows, put your analysis hat on because you obviously on our team. Sum up this first half for us. Thanks for your time, Mike. Back to you, fellas. Good job, boy. 
Tough slog game here in Font Pond Sports. We just seen Justin Robinson go down, who a non-contact injury didn't look good. Um, I just hope it's nothing serious. I mean, he means a lot to this league. He obviously leads the BBL in three point percentage, so we hope he gets back to his feet and it's nothing serious. Just before the second half got underway, the Lions came out and looked a little bit subdued. I wasn't sure how they would respond to the injury to Justin Robinson, but as we say, the show must go on, and they got second place to fight for. So let's go. Don't look now as bad as this game is felt for the London Lions. They're only down by one point. And what's even more impressive about this London Lion rally is that they've done it without Fujini, who's only played seven minutes in this game and hasn't been featured here in the second half. With Johnson going out, who steps up for the Sharks on the offensive end? Since Antoine Johnson's been put into this team in February, he's basically taken over the offensive responsibility. But now that he's out, who else is the big question? And I wouldn't be surprised if the Sharks went back to Del Pesh here. They like to run a little double stagger screen with Glasgow coming off and Del Pesh rolling to the basket and ultimately feeding them. And I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to ride the hot hand here. Gotta love the defensive effort from the Sheffield Sharks. That's what they're known for. Wow. A great shot there by Kiffle Nichols at the buzzer. Comes up short. We got a tie game here going into overtime. That's the ball game, folks. What a crazy game, a defensive battle going down over time. But the Sharks managed to pull away a massive win as they take sole possession of second place in the table. What a game. We got the playoffs around the corner. The BBL is on the rise. 
Uh, second place on the line. This game lived up to all the hype. How did your squad hang on? <laughs> a, a big, much deserved win. Thanks for your time, Rodney. Good stuff, boy. Coach, you came in with injuries. You leave out with an injury to your main score. How was this team able to overcome? And you got it done with your defense. It felt like a playoff game. What was the statement made tonight by the Sharks? That's a great win, Coach. Thanks for your time. That's a big win. I like that. I like that. Throw shots at I'm built for it, baby. <laughs> And speaking of Justin Robinson, a tough loss there in the first half. Can you tell us more about his injury? And that makes three losses on the trot. How concerned are you about this team's confidence as we roll into the playoffs? A tough loss, Coach, but thanks for your time. Look, we got a visitor here. We got a visitor here. What's up, baby? <laughs> Yes, fellas. Well, there you go, guys. You got it. Our first overtime on Sky Sports. Sheffield Sharks 78, London Lions 71 in the pursuit for second. So can you believe that the Sheffield Sharks are in second place? I don't think anyone would have predicted that when they went on uh, their drought of 46 days without a win. But got you guys behind the scenes. Hopefully you enjoyed my guy Johnny behind the ones and twos making it happen. And we'll see you guys, who are we going to see? At the O2, we'll see you guys in London. Peace out. Yes, likewise. Hey, this is Mama Frizzle. This is Dirk Williams' mom. She was featured on the BBL show last year for Mother's Day, a surprise for Dirk. And she's in the house. Where you come from? Um, Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, that's what you think of the UK. I'm loving it so far, but I am not a fan of British Airways, let me tell you. <laughs> Hey, well, thank you. Well, that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 7. You know what they say. You ain't got to go home, but you, you know the rest. Until then, peace out.